Hey, it's me, Fish, your host for Ugly Red Source of All Evil. In this video, I am showcasing my uh, Scream Factory collection. All the collector's editions and then regular editions and everything that I've got that were released by Scream Factory. Uh, obviously, this is not every single Scream Factory release ever because there's like a shitload of them. And I don't even have half of that. So I, I think there's like 300 to maybe even 600 movies or some shit. I'm not sure. And uh, I only got like maybe 40 or so. If that. Um, I'm doing this video in two parts. So that way they don't be too long. But okay. So that's what this is. My Scream Factory collection so far. Because I know there will be more coming out uh, that are already out and more coming out than I got to get. So, anyway, we'll start off with Terror Train Collector's Edition. So, I actually got uh, David Copperfield. Uh, yeah, right there. In a cameo. Mm. Ooh, I hate when I do that. <clears throat> I mean, while I'm recording anyway. Terror Train. And next up. Now, these are not in alphabetical order and anything like that. They're in order of release by Scream Factory, so. I might be off by a date or two, and some might be like. Like this one could have been released before Terror Train or whatever, but I think it was actually released after Terror Train or around the same time. But it's the Town of Dread at Sundown, the original, Charles Pierce version. And it's got a bonus disc on there with um, the Victors. Yeah. Now the Victors is on the bonus disc, which is a DVD uh, of the Town of Dread at Sundown, but the Victors is a bonus movie on that DVD. Uh, it's not on the Blu-ray. Though they have recently released a Blu-ray of the Victors by itself. So, I haven't got it yet, but I will eventually. Alright, and next up. Cue the Winged Serpent. Winged. 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 Whatever. Not a collector's edition, but still cool. It's, it's on, it's on, it's on Blu-ray. And next up, a really awesome movie, Witchboard. I seen it when it came out in the movie theaters, way back in the olden days. Next up, Evil Speak. This is a good campy movie too. So. Got a young Clint Howard in it. Not too young, because he was really young when he was like in, um, I don't know, like westerns or whatever. Like Bonanza or something. I think he was even, maybe, like, I don't know, he played, he was a child actor and some of that stuff, so. Pumpkinhead. Recent acquisition. Head. And next one is up over here. It's the Halloween Complete Collection, the 15 disc version. They do have a smaller tennis version which eliminates a shitload of the special features and whatnot. Let me uh, do this here on my computer. It's telling me to restart for the data or whatever. That one. And next is Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. Next 
Next up, dolls. Deep in the darkness. I like the cover there, the creatures. I haven't watched this yet, but it's got Al from Quantum Leap in it. So, should be pretty good. I think it, uh, this is the one. Yeah. Dean Stockwell. And then next up, the Ghoulies 1 and 2. And it's not really a horror movie, but it's still under the Scream Factory banner. Which, I don't know why, but anyway, Mad Max. And, oops, if I could get it, Bobby Dukes. This is the special edition here with the special slip cover. Pretty cool, huh? And this is just a regular edition that I got from a uh, um, horror pack, still sealed. Um, since it's a regular edition, um, and I've already got this edition. Um, I'm keeping this because it came from Horror Pack. But it's basically the exact same distance in here. But size is not that great of a movie, so I don't think I could even give that one away. Let's see, Dark Summer. And I just got this one like yesterday, Army of Darkness, three disc, collector's edition. Came with the poster and of course the slip cover as you can see. But uh, it doesn't look like it was open, but I did open it. I just slit, sliced it at the bottom. It, that is the, um, the fixed discs versions, the V2. Which is in the little fine print in the in the ring of the discs. If it didn't say V2, then it would be the error discs. But they were the fixed ones. So and shocker. A, I I seen this in the theaters as well. I like it. And then next up, the car. I put it in a black case to match the car because you know I thought it would be cool. This is a really good movie, too. Stung. The next up, got this from a um, hard pack with the slip cover, so that's awesome. And the next two, to round up this video Troll and Troll 2, including, don't know if you can see any special features there. Got a, a, a DVD of the Best Worst Movie, the documentary. And another double feature, Dungeon Master and the Eliminators. And this is the unrated Dungeon Master, so it's got the Naked Chick at the beginning, which was not in the regular VHS release back in the day. And this has never been released on a DVD. Uh, as far as I know, in the U.S. anyway. Uh, well, I mean, besides the Scream Factory uh, Up All Night or whatever, the All Night Horror-a-thon thing, uh, the R-rated version was released on DVD. Uh, but, you know, I needed the Blu-ray anyway, so. But yeah, that's it uh, for the first batch. And the second batch will be in another video. So this one's already almost 10 minutes, so. If you suck with me that long, cool. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. That'll be cool. Um, you can also help me out. Keep me buying all my movies and being able to review them for you and all that. Um, by uh, donating to either my um, Patreon or my PayPal. Which I will leave links to in the description. 
I'll also leave uh, links to Horror Pack and Pop-Up Pack and all that stuff. So, uh, And Scream Factory, too, in case you feel like ordering some of these movies. Some of them are out of print, like Terror Train, for example. Uh, so uh, and, and that 15 set, uh, 15 disc set of uh, Halloween. So, But anyway, that's it for now. So I will see you on my next video.